After needing around two months across the Pacific from west to east, with a short stop on the Isla del Coco, we had finally made landfall in Punta Arenas, where we stocked up on water, diesel, and delicious fruits, veggies, seafood, and other dearly missed supplies. Our next stop, following Costa Rica's coastline, the Central American country, square kilometer-wise, being about equivalent to the size of Switzerland, was its southwestern corner. the name uh, yet but it tastes really good um, so it grows in a tree uh, and it tastes a little bit like maybe lychee or actually like a Heubrause one from Germany if you know that one yeah so super tasty we dropped our hook in the Bahia Drake where we were happy to meet a German tree moran after seeing no other yard for a long time. What we weren't really aware of was that we were anchoring right next to the Corcovado National Park, which is said to be one of the wildest, most beautiful spots in Costa Rica. The National Park, covering one third of the Peninsula de Osa, was actually dubbed the most biologically intense place on Earth by National Geographic. Ich glaube, ich würde richtig gern Tukan sehen. <lacht> Oder? Ja. It didn't take long and we had our dinghy ready for a little river tour into the Rio Agogitas. This was one of the places that really flashed us most during our journey. These shades of green, pure nature, the sounds of the rainforest, the reflections in the water, which gave this place a magic feel.
Yeah. Maybe. So, but yeah, unfortunately, this is the end uh, because these guys they're having trouble already with the kayak going up the river. So, yeah, this is the end for us. But it was maybe a mile inside the river. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So much jungle and the noises are awesome. Huh? Yeah. Do you remember when looking at books of the colorful animals living in the tropical rainforest as a child? They were fairly easy to spot due to their size and spectrum of bright colors. Not in the real tropical rainforest, we figured. It's all about being really watchful, listening for the smallest movements to find the often very well camouflage beauties that you see best when the sun rises. Because just like humans, these forest inhabitants like to take a siesta and hide during the hottest part of the day. The next day, we decided to dive into Costa Rica's jungle a bit, excited to see who inhabited it. We really hope to see some scarlet macaws or maybe even one of Costa Rica's toucan kinds, if we were really lucky. So let's see what the day blessed us with.
Und dann hat sich der Baum gedacht, wenn du das machst, dann halte ich mich halt eben an dir fest. Ja. Und das gibt es doch auch. Today is actually my birthday and uh, we are in Cocovado National Park. Um, the Cocovado National Park is actually the part that we already we walked through um, part of it. There's like a little trail going along the coast which is really cool. There's a lot of monkeys um, that we saw up in the canopy of the trees. We even saw some aras that was I was really, I was yeah going nuts about aras always talking to Elia this morning at six o'clock and uh, the first thing we actually saw was these red birds um, yeah flying above us which was very very cool unfortunately we didn't see them up close yet and uh, I hope that tomorrow it will be possible for us to go on a little national park tour um, I actually didn't know that in the Cor or the Corcovado National Park is actually the national park it's it said that's what I read uh, with the highest number of species in all of the national parks in Costa Rica. There's supposedly some pumas behind me, some jaguars in, in the forest, um, aras, toucans, tapirs, uh, lots of butterflies and uh, yeah, waterfalls. Um, really looking forward to tomorrow. I hope it will work out. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting here in front of a lodge. Um, you can see pretty well in Costa Rica how people can live in harmony with nature but you just leave uh, nature its space yeah just take care of it see signs everywhere about uh, taking care of nature reminding people to pick up their trash yeah and if you move around the camera that's where you can see Tula that's where we are anchoring Schon, glaube ich, ganz früh in der Schule eingetreten hat. Ne? Ja. So ein bisschen gibt es keine Ahnung. Du siehst auch nichts in der Welt hier rum. Überhaupt nichts, alles sauber, ne? Nein. Ich sehe die Sehen die Ohren stecken? I had tried to repair our gas leaking fridge the other day. 
having bought a manual refilling kit for our main refrigerator in Punta Arenas. I've never done it before, but probably it's not a rocket science, so... Unfortunately, I figured I was missing one connecting piece and so went ashore to see if we could find a little hardware store somewhere and later maybe a bit to bite. Das ist irgendwie irre, ne? Guck dir mal die Stromleitung an, wie die da oben wachsen ist. Oh, oh man! Uh, uh, natural selection. Do you think it's a male and a female? Uh, very <laughs> much likely because when they have a baby, the baby will stay with them for many months. And if the baby looks almost the same size, all the feathers are grown and you will see the tree together. Thanks for joining us on another episode, plunging into the outer parts of the Cocovado National Park, where animals of the jungle share their space with people, mostly successfully. Join us next time where we get the chance to head deeper into the Osa Peninsula, meeting and learning lots about animals we track down in their natural habitat of the most bio-intense place in the world, according to National Geographic. To support us in our filming activities, please take a glance at our website support section or just click on the Blended in Patreon button to always join us on another adventure one week in advance. See you next time! You also can eat termites if you are hungry. They are really good in proteinas. You can try one, I can invite you one. They taste like wood. <laughs>